Basically, the owner and the store manager, Jan and John, they had been looking for somewhere to do a really advanced and sort of um, ambitious project with a vintage department store where they would have everything in the same way that you would get it in Liberty or um, shops like that. And they were looking, they had this idea, they hadn't met each other but they had this idea each separately. They were looking for this for years and years and years. And then that when they found this unit and they were both working together, uh, the project was realised and it opened nine months ago, last August, end of August. Because it's got something for everyone here, from greetings cards to on-trend fashion, to homewares, to furniture. Uh, we provide, you know, something for everyone. I mean, our a lot of our customer is girls between the ages of sort of 14 and 24. That's the fashion customers. But then the guys who come in who are looking for maybe the vintage army jacket, something like that, are also maybe around the 35 years old age. They're also buying the furniture for their flats, their offices, their studies. So uh, we cater to such a broad range. It sort of tends to to reach everyone. Can you feel that oh, we're paying with love tonight? It's not about the money, money, money. We really wanted to push the fashion angle on the business. So instead of just having vintage, it's vintage on trend. So you go downstairs into women's wear and, and the same trends that you see in Topshop or other high street stores you'll see in there, um, which is quite unusual. You know it's all the fashion students live around here and the styles that emerge are often coming because they're buying things for a certain reason, particular influences. I mean, trend forecasting is such a huge thing, but this is a place where you find you know, a, a great amount of information. When Jan and John were talking about the store, they saw it as being like Kensington Market um, from years gone by, something that had a thriving community of people and we wanted to have people blogging and doing interviews like this and people who are interested in fashion and interested in you know what's going on here all under one roof, like a community. So you gotta have coffee, you know. <laughs> money, money, money. 